What is up guys, Charlie Pang is here. So today I wanted to talk about Photoshop and Illustrator. I've been getting a ton of people asking me about these two programs and basically the questions are stuff like which one's better, which one should I use for this, or you know, it just, the list goes on, but you get the point. So I thought to myself, I was like, you know what? Why don't I just make a video about it and just let everybody know what I think about the two programs and basically what, how I use the programs and stuff like that. So it's a really quick video today, but I figured this video was necessary. I like the way I do that. I'm like, roll the intro and the freaking thing just goes like this. I'm not going to do it this time though. I tricked you. I was thinking about doing it, but I already did it once before. I'm not going to be repetitive, guys. Come on. I'm better than that. Seriously though, let's roll the intro and let's get this video going. Happy Friday guys, I can't believe it's already Friday. These weeks are going by so quick for me, but thank you guys for literally just watching my videos and subscribing, hitting the thumbs up, commenting in the section below. You guys are awesome, honestly. Like, I wish I could meet all of you because you guys are just so cool. I mean, really, I have like some of the best subscribers. But anyway, today's a really fun day because we're gonna be talking about Illustrator and Photoshop. Now, both programs I'm in love with. I absolutely love those programs because they do such a great job um, giving you these tools to do amazing art. And nowadays, you go anywhere, you see a sign on the, the store, it has a logo, right? Somebody designed that in a program. If you go to a movie, you see the movie poster. Somebody designed that in Photoshop, most likely. The world that we live in is surrounded by things that were created in Illustrator and Photoshop, which is a beautiful thing. We're gonna start with Photoshop first because obviously you guys know that I love Photoshop, but I've been making a lot of tutorials on them in my past videos, and um, it's just my go-to program, pretty much. So, Photoshop, essentially is a pixel based program. It's not vector, it's pixel based, which means if you zoom in on an image, you can actually see pixels. It's made up of tiny little pixels. So any image that you design in Photoshop is literally made up of these tiny pixels. Like I said, if you zoom in on them, you can see the different color variations and tones and stuff like that, which makes up that image or that object, whatever it is. Photoshop is used for photo manipulation. So for instance, if I have a picture of a book and I wanted to Photoshop a cat on top of the book, I can do that in Photoshop. If I, if I have a window and I wanted to put a different scene in the window instead of the one that's in your backyard, I can do that in Photoshop. So I can cut that window out or whatever and put a paradise background in there and make it look real. So Photoshop's great for that stuff. As far as what I use it for, I use it for a lot of texturing. So if I have a design that I want to add texture to, I use Photoshop because I feel Photoshop's super strong for adding uh, special textures and stuff like that to your designs and it's just easier to use in my opinion So that's basically why I use Photoshop just for texturing and stuff like that a lot of times I use Photoshop and Illustrator hand in hand without explaining too much about Photoshop Let's go and dive into Illustrator now So I use Illustrator for anything logo related or anything that has to do with a lot of line work now before I would do it all in Photoshop, but up until recently I started using Illustrator more because it's a vector program. So what a vector program means is you can zoom in on anything that you create and you're not going to see pixels. It's literally straight lines and clean crisp lines. So. Uh, Illustrator is a go-to program when you're creating uh, logos or or anything that you don't want pixel based okay so um, Illustrator is not going to be good for photo manipulation though because um, it's not a pixel based program and photos are made of pixels so I hope you guys understand but yeah so Photoshop's pixel based Illustrator's vector based so you can't do image manipulation in uh, Illustrator, at least not very easily. Um, I, I would definitely not use it for that kind of thing. So Illustrator's uh, solely for vector objects. So if you want to create a vector logo, use Illustrator. And if you want to edit an image and do some really cool stuff to it, maybe color grade it, use Photoshop. It's simple as that. Or if you just want to texture one of your Illustrator designs, do that. So now I'm going to go into why I use both the programs, okay? So Illustrator, I will literally use that program to uh, actually trace my drawing or whatever or just create a design all my line work basically is done in Illustrator so after I'm done with the design in Illustrator I'll take it to Photoshop and do all my texturing and then mock it up to show people so um, that's how they kind of work together um, Illustrator is my go-to program now I know I used to use Photoshop for everything but now I use Illustrator for everything and I, I do think it's more efficient using Illustrator for all your uh, graphic design stuff, whether it's for a t-shirt design, logo, um, even a business card, whatever it may be, use Illustrator, guys, because it is, in my opinion, a better program for that stuff. But um, by all means, use Photoshop if you're doing photo manipulation, texturing, or whatever. So that's basically how I use the two programs together. And my workflow is always the same. I always start with Illustrator and finish with Photoshop. It's just the way I do things. It's important to note, though, that Photoshop has smart objects, which means smart objects basically don't lose data. So you can actually reset size a smart object and you won't um, see all these pixels go crazy. So for instance, if you rasterize an image in Photoshop and you try to enlarge it, it's going to look super pixelated and gross. Um, the only way a rasterized image works when 
you try to resize it is if you resize down. If you try to shrink it, it will look fine, but if you want to enlarge it, it will literally ruin the pixels and it will look really blurry and gross. So the, the way to fix that in Photoshop is you can create a smart object. I'm not going to go into too much detail with that, but what I'm saying is there's ways around it in Photoshop where you can get nice crisp lines still. That is it for Photoshop and Illustrator. Overall, I would definitely recommend using Illustrator first and then texturing in Photoshop last. That's just my workflow, guys, but you can do whatever you want. You can design everything in Photoshop. Who cares what people think? If you want to use Photoshop, use Photoshop. If you'd rather work with a vector program first, use Illustrator, guys. It's really, it really depends on what you're doing and what, your end what you want your end results to look like. That is it for this video, but thank you guys so much for watching, and if you guys enjoyed this video, please hit that thumbs up button, subscribe, and don't forget to comment in the section below to let me know what you guys thought about this video, and I uh, hope this video helped you out, guys. I really do. But anyway, have a great Friday, guys, at least the rest of your Friday, wherever you are in the world, and I will see you guys Tuesday for my next video. All right, I'm out of here. Bye, guys. I'm trying to think of how I can introduce you. What's your channel name? Outlaw Menace. Outlaw Menace, okay. I have to introduce my little friend here. His name's Roy. He has a really cool YouTube channel, a gaming channel, and I'm trying to support him, and I hope you guys do too. It's called... Outlaw Menace. Outlaw Menace, guys. I'll put the link in the description below for you guys to check it out. Just support him. He's How old are you? Tell him how old I'm you are. I'm 10. He's 10 years old, guys, doing YouTube already. How awesome is that? So anyway, it'd mean a lot if you guys go subscribe to him and just tell him what you guys think about his videos. Help him out. This is the official ending now because I already ended it once, but this is the second ending in one video. I've never done that before. Wow. How crazy. But anyway, all right, see you guys later. See you guys, make Bye. sure I, you need to get 10 likes. 10. We need to get 10 likes at least, guys. Ten For likes. my video or your video? Your video. Okay, we need to get at least 10 likes on this video, which is pretty easy because you guys kick ass. But anyway, I'll see you guys next time. Peace out. Cool.